Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about uh, generating and detecting torsion fields with water vortex. Okay. Very cool, huh? And today I'm going to do some testing with the water vortex generator that I have. I put a little valve thing on here so I can turn it on and off. And I have my, well, I think that uh, water holds psychotronic energy and rotating water will probably produce a uh, torsion field. So this is going to be my torsion generator. I showed this in a previous video, my water vortex uh, device. And I took the end off of it because I don't want it to spray all over the place. I just want to create a vortex up here. And I have my uh, torsion detector here. Okay. And I charge that up with my... Uh, life energy and then we'll see if that responds to a vortex when I turn this on. It should be interesting. Okay, so this is my torsion pendulum. I got my hands a little bit wet. So I'm going to try to charge it up. And I usually wait until the thing starts to deflect once it has enough energy in there. Okay. You can see it's deflecting all by itself due to the life energy that's flowing into it. Okay, I just recently moved it from a location it was before, and I haven't used it in a while. So all those things can deplete. I think the life energy takes a long time to build up in there. And so it could be... See, it's not deflecting as much as it usually would. It also depends on how much life energy you have in at the moment and uh, how you're feeling, whether you're stressed or other things. Okay, so I think it might be charged up pretty good. Okay, so let's take our, let's move this kind of toward the edge. And okay, and I'll wait until the pendulum kind of settles down a little bit. Because sometimes it starts moving around when it gets a lot of energy in it. Okay. still fidgeting around. Let me get it. Okay, ready? Okay, I think it's kind of stopped moving. Okay. Looks like the torsion field is affecting it, maybe. Okay, turn it off and it's swinging back. Okay, let me let it Calm down for a second. Okay, it looks like it's calm. Turn on the torsion field. And it looks like it's deflecting the pendulum. Okay. I'll turn it off. And the pendulum looks like it goes back. Okay. Very cool, huh? I'll let it stop bobbling around. And here's our device. Okay, it's still kind of twisting around from that. Okay, I think it might be settling down. And there we go, see the deflection? Yeah, it definitely looks like it's causing a deflection in the torsion pendulum. I'll just let that run out onto the ground. It comes out kind of like a spinning umbrella or something. Okay. 
Yeah, and as I bring it close to the torsion pendulum, it starts to deflect. I pull it away. Looks like it goes back. Okay. I definitely see a deflection there. I think it might be running low on energy, so I may have to recharge it. But anyway, let's just take a look at this torsion device. Take a better look at it over here. Okay, there we go. You can see the vortex inside of there. Reducing our vortex field. Very cool, huh? Anyway, we'll fiddle around with that some more. And there's our torsion pendulum. Anyway, this is Dr. James, and thanks for watching.